Okay, those were the uh, test runs for the 1407 3800 and 3200 kV motor from my RC Mark. Uh, on the 3-inch prop, the 3200 uh, kV motor, uh, the 3-inch two-blade prop, thrust is uh, moderate. Uh, the amp draw is pretty pretty low, so that that would be a, a fairly efficient prop to run. On the 3800, uh, we get into the low 400s, so n um, that you know that that should uh, that should get you going pretty fast. The next prop, uh, the Team Racecraft. Uh, four blade. I was a little bit disappointed at the amount of thrust. I was expecting more. Uh, also, it seems to be pulling a little bit more amps than than the other props uh, for the uh, for the thrust that it can achieve. However, I've heard a couple. Of, I've seen comments about this prop. Uh, some people like actually like it. They say it flies pretty well. It's very responsive so uh, in some cases that that's that's what matters you know uh, uh, you gotta keep in mind that the thrust uh, test doesn't don't tell the whole story sometimes you, you know you gotta fly you gotta fly the props you gotta fly the motors and and basically just just feel feel how they how they perform uh, so these tests uh, they they're only half the story that, you know they do give some good data for comparing setups, but uh, ultimately, you know, ultimately, it's when you fly it is when you when you truly see uh, how things work. So luckily, luckily, these props are not that expensive, you know. So you could always you could always get a set, and you could always get a set and try it and see how it feels uh, the next prop which I think I think this DYS uh, uh, three blade prop is it it's always seems to sit right in the middle so I, I haven't had a chance to actually fly it so I can't say for sure uh, been busy just flying my five inch prop uh, quad Checking out the, uh, all the other motors I've been testing. I haven't had a chance to play with my 3-inch quad lately. So the there's one interesting thing here with the 3200 3-blade prop and the 3800 2-blade uh, prop. Uh, you can see the the 3800 gets about the same ef same thrust and with slightly better efficiency with the two blade as it does the 3200 with the three blade next prop uh, is the HQ the four blade prop um, which uh, it also sits right in the middle uh, it's actually not that bad considering it's using that huge uh, hub in the uh, uh, prop hub it's the same hub that is used on the five and six inch prop So it's not that bad. Uh, it, it it actually does fairly well. Uh, again, I've I've yet to try it and see how it actually feels in the air. So the next prop I tested was the uh, Rotor X T thirty forty three blade prop. Uh, this prop is usually one of the best performers. Uh, always gets a uh, pretty high thrust. Uh, it does use a little bit more amps, but that's to be expected. Uh, a lot of people that fly this prop, uh, they really, really like it. Uh, they say it flies just great, uh, it's very responsive. But uh, it does have its negative uh, side, meaning being um, being a little bit expens more expensive than the others, and and a little bit on the fragile side, uh, which may or may not be a good thing. Uh, uh, being fragile means that uh, it'll the blades will break, so on a on a crash. It may help prevent uh, a shaft bending on the motor because you got to remember these motors ha use uh, very 
thin shaft I believe it's a two millimeter shaft so uh, if you use a prop that's too stiff it may actually end up uh, help uh, causing a shaft to bend uh, but if it's a strong enough hit it doesn't matter what prop you have if you hit it at the right angle of course it's gonna it's gonna bend but uh, that's one of the advantages of the uh, of props that are a l uh, that break or that are a little bit more flexible uh, that's why I tend to stay away stay away from from those uh, props that are that have like really thick hubs and that are thick at the hub like the uh, like the 3045BN by 3 that that one is uh, that one's I believe is cut from a either from a 6045 or a 5045 by 3 prop and, and that one's just uh, I don't even know what they make that prop is it's just too too huge for these motors uh, and uh, it's probably really inefficient so so anyway uh the uh, and talking about blunt noses i did go ahead and and tried this uh 50 40 by three uh, which i cut to three three inches and it was i was kind of surprised uh, that it uh it, it had similar performance to the uh pro x prop uh but this one's not as bad as the b as the 3045 bn uh, because uh, the pitch is less aggressive and the the blades are a little bit more forgiving so they'll they'll bend you know uh, they'll flex a little bit uh, and again uh, you know these are on the thrust stand they, they look similar but uh, in flight uh, they may have uh, different flight characteristics uh, probably the uh, the response uh, the responsiveness might it could be that they don't quite feel the same uh, when I say responsiveness I, I mean like uh, how fast uh, the thrust builds up you know when you when you push the motor is there a lag in response you know uh, or is it uh, almost immediate immediate so that's something to that's something that you can only feel when you when you fly when you fly your setup uh, but I also went ahead and tested the 4045 uh, Gen Fan and on the uh, on the 3200 kV motor, and that's some pretty some pretty good numbers. Uh, a lot of thrust from that little motor. So, but again, you gotta you gotta keep an eye on on temperatures if you if you do use this setup. Uh, I do fly the uh, the 1306 motor uh, 3200 kV. I I actually fly this this propeller Gen Fan 4045 uh, on my BYS uh, motors, and I've been flying them for the longest time on the uh, Armatan 180 that I have uh, on 4S, and the motors uh, they're always uh, fairly just a little warm, you know. They don't they don't get excessively hot, and I've been flying them for uh, like a long time, so so I know at least on the 1306. 3200 kV uh, the Gen Fan 4045 is actually the best the best match for that motor on 4S so uh, I, I imagine on the 1407 3200 it, it, it it'll be okay it'll be okay to fly uh, I don't think the motor is going to be less uh, uh, less powerful than a 1306 so so it should fly okay but again always always keep an eye on the, t on the temperatures on the 3800 kV I didn't test it because I, I thought it it would be running too hot the 3800 kV model runs a little bit hot when you get to the more aggressive props so I, I didn't want to I, I didn't think about testing it uh, with the four inch prop but it could again it could be that it that it works fine um, uh, but just check check the temperatures uh, well, that does it for these tests. Uh, hopefully, you find this data useful. And uh, again, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll be uploading more test results soon, soon as I 
as I get the, the data, data organized and the videos edited. Uh, uh, so just check the channel back uh, in a few days. Uh,